In this video we're going to demonstrate how you can use Google Sheets to create a simple time tracking application. So we can actually create buttons in Google Sheets pretty easily though not in the way you might expect. Let's go ahead and start our spreadsheet by creating a few buttons. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a drawing and my drawing I'm just going to create one of these boxes here. I'm just going to go ahead and create one of these. We'll go into shapes we're going to select this one here and we will go ahead and edit the text. Now we're going to create a spreadsheet that allows multiple users to log in here. So we're going to go ahead and say user one. That doesn't really look too pretty. We're going to make that a little bit smaller of a font. We'll say 12 point. We'll go ahead and center that. There we go. So now we have a user one button and we can save that and you can see now that's going to show up. Now if we we'll go ahead and move it over kind of to the right of where we're going to enter our, our values and I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and copy it so that I can create a few more because I'm gonna create one for user one and I'm going to also create one I can go ahead and just paste this in now and I'm gonna create one for user two and those can both be blue there we go we have two nice blue buttons and we could create many of these for any one that we need and I'm gonna go ahead and also insert a new drawing. We'll go ahead and make or call this one in. We'll change the color here. We'll just click this fill color and we'll make this a nice green button. We'll make it bold too, just to make it stand out a little bit more. There we go. So let's move our in button over here. And we will also create one for out. go we'll make that bold we'll make that one a nice little red sort of pink color there we go just to distinguish the two a little bit we'll go ahead and move this over so now we have our buttons that we're going to need and we'll format our spreadsheet too we'll go ahead and say user we'll say time and we'll say in out here let's go ahead and make those bold maybe we'll put a nice little border underneath them just to make it look a little better and uh, we can format our time. You know, let's say we click the time co or time column here, column B. I'm going to go to format, and uh, we're going to say number. It's not really going to be a number, but maybe we want something like this. We'll go ahead and change the format to here. So now we have our spreadsheet, which is going to allow us to uh, to track our time, but we're going to also want to create some script here. So I'm going to go and give this a title, uh, time tracker. It's probably good. Now I'm going to go into tools, script editor. And from here I'm going to start working with some code. So the code I'm going to write is going to allow me to do things like set values in the spreadsheet, uh, retrieve the values from the spreadsheet, and add different records. So I'm going to create some functions that are just going to allow me some basic shorthands at first. So I'm going to go ahead here, I'm going to remove all of the code, and I'm going to create a function called setValue. And I'm going to pass in a cell name and a value here. And this is just going to use spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get range cell name dot set value value and that's just so that when I set values I don't have to type all of that out I'm gonna go ahead and create a similar one called get value we'll go ahead and get value based on cell name and we will return spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get range cell name get value. So these will be used to just retrieve and uh, modify the values in my spreadsheet. I'm also going to create one uh, that I'm going to need a little bit later called get next row. Function get next row. And all this is going to do is return spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet dot get last row plus one and that way I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to say or retrieve the next uh, values that I need to enter so I'm gonna save this I just hit uh, command S or control S if you're on Windows I'm gonna save this as time tracker code now I have some code here so right now these functions are just for utility purposes they're not actually going to do anything And if I want to assign values here I need to create some functions that are going to actually be able to be executed when I click on one of these buttons so I'm going to go ahead and create a function here. I'm going to call this function set user one. And all this is going to do, I'm going to go ahead and create a place in the spreadsheet. We'll go ahead and move this, say, column, uh, we'll do column, 
i. So I'm going to set value i1 to user1. And I'm going to create a function called set user2, set value, and I'm going to use that same place, i1, user2. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to identify which user is uh, coming in or out. So I want to just put that in the spreadsheet somewhere so I can use it again. So now we can go back to our spreadsheet. We can go ahead and click user1, the button here, that little pull down, click assign script, and we'll say set user1. And now when I click that, it's going to ask me for permission. So I need to continue and allow this. And now, anytime I click user1, that's going to set that user1 over here. And I'm going to do the same thing for my user2 button. I'm going to set user2 as, my, as this function it will call. Now, if I click these two buttons, you can see here, very simply, just modifying that value over there in i1. So let's go ahead and create some simple code for adding new records to this. First thing I want to do is create another utility function. I'm going to call this add record. And I'm just going to have this set values a, b, and c just so that I don't have to type out lots of code as I punch in or punch out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the next row that I need to retrieve, get next row, which is just going to call my function right here. Then I'm going to set value A plus row to A, set value B plus row to B, and set value C plus row to C. Basically, all this is going to do is I'm going to call add record with three values, and I'm going to set the values of A, whatever that row is, B, whatever that row is, and C, whatever that row is, to those, those values that are passed in. So if I were to say at the end of set user, we say add record, user 1 was clicked as my first value, say 10 is my second value, and uh, we'll go ahead and say third column is my third value. Now, when I go back to my spreadsheet and hit user1, you see not only did it change this to user1, but it also added all those values over here. I'm going to go ahead and delete those because I want to use uh, real values here. So now I'm going to create a function called punch in. And now when I call this, I'm going to say add record. And the first thing is going to be get value i1 which is just where I've stored user1 or user2. Then I'm going to pass in a new date, and which is just going to be the current time. And then I'm going to pass in in. And now if I come back to my time tracker, I can assign the script punch in to my in button. And if I click that, user1 is now in. And you can see the time there. We can make this column a little bit bigger just so we can see that. And you get that all the way down to, uh, you get hours, minutes, and seconds, so it's very good. And we'll make this D column just a little bit smaller, just to kind of compress those buttons closer. And we can do the same. Well, we might add additional user buttons later, so we'll leave that one alone. And I can click user 2, and I can go ahead and click in there as well. Now, if we want to punch out, we just do the same thing. Very simple function. Function punch out. No Mike Tyson required. Add record, get value i1, new date, out. So now we have a, a nice punch out function. We'll go ahead and save our, our code and we'll assign our last button here. So now if I click punch out, we'll click user one, punch out, and then we'll click user two, punch out. Oh, and see, we still have this user one was clicked. Let's go ahead and take that code out. That's no good. Let's go ahead and delete that. We'll go back, save our spread or save our code. Come back. We'll go ahead and delete this record. There we go. So now we can see we've got a user in, we've got a user out. So this will keep track of all of our time records, and then you can use those later to do the calculation to identify how long somebody was actually working. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, don't forget to practice your code.